I'm almost getting tired of being right all the time. This is a, uh, I don't know, I'm watching, a, I, just, I just picked up on this uh, article. It's old news, but it, it deserves follow-up. Uh, NBC News reported this uh, a while ago. Harley-Davidson workers stunned by plant closure after tax cuts. Ho, ho, ho. Really? Why are they stunned? The iconic company announced that it was slashing hundreds of jobs despite expecting to reap huge benefits from the new tax law. Right. Trickle-down economics, right? They were going to... They were going to get huge tax breaks, and and uh, and then they were going to trickle that down to the people, right? Is that that the way? That's how it works, right? So, one of the workers, Tim Primamax, <laughs> was working at Holly Davidson plant in Kansas City, Missouri, for 17 years. He was sure he was going to retire from the company. That all changed when Harley Davidson told its 800 employees in January that the plant will be closing next year. Operations will be shifted to the motorcycle manufacturing facility in New York, Pennsylvania. That's a lie right there because they're actually moving it to Thailand. And I'll tell you, I'll tell you how they're going to do that. Right? We did everything Harley Davidson asked us to do, said Primax. See, this is where it gets heart heart wrenching because these are the good American people. These are these are the American people getting fucked, right? And this guy saying, as a welder, to have it blow up in our face is kind of disappointing. You're damn right it is. Right? But it's expected because that's what corporations do. Right? Days later, after the announcement that they were going to cut 800 jobs, Harley-Davidson announced a dividend increase and a stock buy buyback plan to reward shareholders, repurchasing 15 million of shares valued at nearly $700 million. Right? So now you know where the profits go, right? They take the profit. Now this is, this is inside Wall Street share, right? And they say, well, we're going to buy back the stock. We're going to take that $700 million that we saved, and we're going to buy back stock. And the shareholders are going to benefit from it. And the, the dividend, right? A little fucking stupid dividend that nobody ever sees anyway, right? So what happened? So how did the shareholders just just point? Just look, I have a background in, in Wall Street. And I'm telling you that, that this is how they fuck you over when you hear language like this, right? That, that they're going to do buybacks, stock buybacks. It's all bullshit, right? Because... When you look at the uh, one-year chart, right, which I did, right, in January when they announced the stock was $53 a share, right, 53, I think it topped at 55, right, and right, right at the announcement, what happens? It fucking plunged to 42, right? So six months later, it's at 42 right now. So, so where's the reward to the shareholders? How did the shareholders? They said that. So now they're saying that. They do the buyback, they fire people, and they, they, they do the buyback, and that's supposed to somehow benefit the shareholders, who they're wholly responsible. So now they're not only fucking over the workers, but they're fucking over the shareholders. Right? See, this is, this, is, this is the problem, that the, 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 the politicians and the, the corporate heads are now all politicians, that they're all working in cahoots, right? They're ripping off the companies as well, they're ripping off these corporations. TTP. Ice, abolish ice, no borders. That campaign, by the way, is successful. The, the campaign to convince the kooky left, the lunatic left, that, uh, that open borders is something that you want, because it's not. That was the essence of the TPP, that open borders for corporations would create this global market of fucking over the American people, right? So they could do business for cheap labor, just like Harley Davidson. It's no loyalty to the to the United States, right? No loyalty at all, right? Brilliant fucking motorcycle manufacturer makes iconic motorcycles and you know American-made motorcycles. Now they're going to go to Thailand, right? Like other corporations, Harley Davidson is benefiting this year from the tax cut law passed in 2017, which slashed the corporate rate from 35% to 21%. The, corp the company maintains that the dividend increase and stock buyback is unrelated to the tax cuts. <laughs> it's such bullshit. Read the article for yourself, it's down below. Uh, this is funny too, House Speaker Paul Ryan. House Speaker Paul Ryan visit visited a Harley plant in Wisconsin in September and said, tax reform can put American manufacturers and American companies like Harley-Davidson on a much better footing to compete in the global economy and keep jobs in America. 
It's a lie. Evidence is in that Harley Davidson just cut 800 employees and they're taking their shit and they're going to Thailand for cheap labor for what the other part of the tax cut was that now that they do business abroad, they don't have to pay tax on any monies generated abroad, right? That, that tax cut, that was also part of the uh, tax scam, right? So again, Kanti, you're a socialist. Socialist, I fucking socialist. <laughs> no, it's this is the this is what's happening in America. It's a different kind of problem, right? I'm not going to read this. You can read you can read the rest of this Harley Davidson thing for yourself. But it's important that people know that, um, you know, just how badly the corporations are fucking you over, and that there is a solution. My policy, uh, again, I'm 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 right, 100%. You have to raise the corporate tax rate to 80%. You have to hold these people accountable for their crimes against the American workers and against the American people, right? Okay. It's, it's run amok. To, the idea that corporations are gonna somehow voluntarily reciprocate their, their treasure to you is ridiculous. It doesn't happen. You see, this is, evidence is in Harley-Davidson, but there's, there's 10,000 publicly traded corporations that are all doing the same thing. Apple, they, they, move, their, they move their plants abroad. They, 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 they use these tax evasion, evasion, tax evasion tactics so that they don't have to put the tax, so they don't have to pay U.S. tax. That's the bottom line. They set up here on the back of the, the, the United States taxpayer, and then they do all their, all their manufacturing and shipping and all this shit abroad and we get fucked right so anyway my name is Marcus Conti investigative journalist reporter here on YouTube and a candidate for the United States Senate peace